So this is my outfit for the evening to go to Wonderland. It's just a polka dot dress. Oh, you can see the back of it. It's just a polka dot wrap dress with a little, like a, it's like a, I want to say it's a panther even though it's gold. And it's my tie up shoes. Wow. This is my outfit. Don't my baby look good? Quit. So this is my outfit for the evening. Is about to reveal the menu. I have to take my breath, they said. Let me make sure it's dipped well. Something coming through. I think I need some more water. <laughs> or whatever this is. Oh, it's coming through. Oh, so there's the menu, everybody. You just take a brush that they provided and dip it in water, and the menu magically appears. Okay, all right. Sit back, relax. I will guide you on the right direction. I will explain you each and dish when I serve at the table. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank all you. Right. I will be back here. Thank you so much. From the element of fire. Okay, so we're taking the shrimp and scotch on an egg and the avocado. The avocado wraps. And you know we're gonna taste all of this and let you know what it tastes like. That's what we're doing. Okay, the egg, the egg is really good. It's um it's kind of spicy and it has like a crispy like panko bread coating top. It's a nice taste. I like the egg. It's, it's pretty good. Tastes cool. So and it got good flavor. Definitely uh, something to think with palate. Next up is the avocado crab roll. I don't care for avocados, but I will be tasting this. Up, oh, Q says it doesn't taste bad, so let's see. Okay, this is good. No, the crab part, you don't like that. Okay. I have an aversion to, to to avocado, and I couldn't stomach it. I, and if you like avocado, then go for it. It's like a moussey avocado that's topped with the crab in the roll. And the crab shell is really nice and crunchy. I just can't do avocado. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, but it's good though. So what did you think of the um, the little avocado crab roll? What do you think of that? It tastes all right for me. I can deal with the avocado. The crab was fresh, though. So we're gonna try the shrimp. Shrimp is really good. Q and I was equating 
the wrap into shredded wheat. <laughs> yes, that's what it actually is. And in the cup, I don't know if you see it, there's like a, it's like a scotch bonded like dip or whatever. It's really good it's with spicy. the shrimp and spicy. Scotch bonded peppers are really spicy. So this is really good. We like this. So this is the liquid lobster. And it has bone marrow and um, caviar top. And we're going to try it and let you know what it tastes like. Right, Q? I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so baby, how'd you like that liquid lobster? Real tasty. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's like um, a soup base. What kind of soup would you say? Like vegetables? Like, like a, a no, like a, it said lobster, but like a broth. Like they took the like lobster. The broth tastes like a, like a vegetable soup. Mm -hmm. It like does. With the lobster, and then it has uh, the bone marrow in it. Right. With the caviar. It's a great taste, though. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I did too. We we took it by a spoonful. It, right. It, it was good. Yeah. That's what they gave us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look. Them things is done. <laughs> she wanted to chop my head. <laughs> but then the Cheshire cat saved my life, and I'm stuck here in this little bowl, drinking tea all the time. <laughs> and it's not funny. I mean, it's just me, the white rabbit, and the dormouse that is leaving my tea cup. <laughs> Which is filled with tuna tartare. And on top is a yuzu granite. It's a Japanese lime fruit. We take the juice out of it and we blend it with the crushed ice. Top with wasabi marinated tobiko caviar. Around the plate you will find parmesan filo dough cracker, illustrate of kaffir lime, fresh mint, chopped chives and dill leaves as a garnish. With a right. teaspoon, you scoop out the sorbet. I call it as a lime sorbet. Right. Place it on the cracker and have that first bite. It's very refreshing on your palate. Okay. Enjoy. Okay, y'all. About to eat this. He said take the lime sorbet and put it on the Parmesan cracker. And it's very, um, it's very refreshing on your palate. Wait a minute, let me like, we gonna watch Q do this, y'all. You gonna have me eat this. That's what you about to do. Baby, what you doing? Ooh, Q's doing it, y'all. You're supposed to put the sorbet on the cracker, baby. Mm-hmm. Just the caviar with that. The juice that this goes on the ice. That's there alone. Really? Yeah. That's okay. just your palate. I'm I'm gonna try something else. <laughs> oh yo. You try it. Go ahead, go okay. ahead. I wouldn't worry. Okay, so I'm putting the two to on a cracker. You know we don't we don't you know we don't do this. It's in the lime. But um, oh no, the lime. Inside. Hold up, I see it. So am I putting the lime and the tuna tartare? What am I doing? Yeah, the caviar is on ice. Did you see the caviar? Oh yeah, it's on ice. Oh, hold up. Okay. All right, I'm going in, y'all. That's good. That's mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's good. Um, you right, Q. That's that is good. Mmm. So it's in the lime. That's the tuna tartare, and that's the caviar with the lime sorbet. Mmm. This mm. is from the ice. Mmm. The, the ice that was on. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yeah. That is really good. Oh my goodness, that is really good. I would have never. I don't think I would have ever ate that. Any other? This is really good. Final thoughts, babe. I really like it. Uh, the ice. The, the sorbet. The sorbet. And the, the tuna with that crack. Uh, it was, you have to taste it. It just opened your palate up and it tastes excellent. I mean, it's, it's really good. It's something that you definitely do. Right. Short ribs, everybody. Wow. Short ribs is fresh for more than six to eight hours in the Bordeaux sauce. The more you braise the meat, it's gonna become more tender and juicy. Yes? Around the plate, we'll find classic mashed potato. Here, we have the fried halum tomato, where we peel the skin and we grease the oil, which is infused with truffles. Okay. Yes? Okay. We have the red beet relish, 
yellow candy bit relish, butternut squash puree, and apple puree. And with that, over here, we have the borderless sauce. You want me to pour it on top? Yes. Okay. It's gonna add more flavor and texture to your short. Time. All right. Okay, y'all. So we got our main dish, which is the short rib with the mashed potatoes and all the other accompaniments. Q and I are gonna get into this, and we're definitely gonna let you know what it tastes like. Okay. Q and I, we are going in on this beef short rib, y'all. It is so flavorful. It is so. Way we cook it. The way I like to cook mine, where it's so tender that you can take a fork and just pull it apart. He put a, 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 a sauce on top of it, and that kind of elevated it. Now, Q and I aren't fans of the size that go around, except for the tomatoes. There are like plump little cherry tomatoes going around it, and when you eat one of those, it just pops in your mouth. It's so nice and fresh. And um, the little swirl of potatoes that they put with the beef is, is a perfect accompaniment. This. It's really good. Oh my gosh, we are really enjoying this here at Wonderland. Y'all, this is my plate. I'm finished before Q, and usually that doesn't happen, but that was so good. That beef short rib was so good. You guys have got to, you have got to try this here in Wonderland. Okay, the Mad Hat is up there conversing at the bar. So, so Q and I are really enjoying Wonderland. We really are. We didn't think that we would enjoy it as much as we are, but we would have to say. Let me let, me let him say. So, babe, what would you say so far about Wonderland? We're waiting for our dessert. I enjoy Wonderland. Here is the mystical mushroom in the All garden. All right. That's the dessert. Wow. Who doesn't like mushrooms? <laughs> Who doesn't eat mushrooms? I know. But I'm going to eat that mushroom. <laughs> exactly. It exactly. It's decision to get this one for you because you don't eat the real mushroom. <laughs> so I want to enjoy. Oh, you enjoy. thank you. So this is mushroom, yeah? <laughs> yes. yes. So it's called a mystical mushroom in the garden. The soil below the mushroom is made from red velvet crumbs, pistachio crumbs, and pop rocks. Okay, pop rocks. The stem of the mushroom is made from meringue. It's egg white and sugar. Mm -hmm. You have the two tiny little pink mushrooms. They are made from cayenne pepper and pink pepper corn. Okay. So they will be savory, not sweet. Okay. Yes. And you have the red mushroom, which is made from pistachio dabwa, mm -hmm. coated with white chocolate mousse, raspberry glaze on top. All right. Served with the mango sorbet on the side. <laughs> Here's the apple. Do we just eat it? All right. The forbidden apple. Mm -hmm. On the bed of lemon butter cookies crumble, you have the apple, which is made from berry smooth. Blueberry, blackberry, and raspberry, which creates a mousse. Coated with the raspberry jelly on the outer side to give the texture of the apple. Served with the homemade yogurt ice cream. Okay. Let's check out what's there inside this apple. At the very bottom, it's filled with coconut dakwa, and on top, it's stuffed with lemon curd. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, um, overall, the meal was good here in Wonderland. Q and I have to go to the comedy show, so we'll wrap up and talk to you later this evening after the comedy show. At Wonderland. Crazy, right? <laughs> he called it Crazy Land. There was a guy who was the Mad Hatter, and he was... <laughs> Quite the character. <laughs> he played his part. Yes, he did. And um, this was one of the specialty restaurants that Q and I thought we might not enjoy, you know, based off of the menu that they had. And we saw, we was like, eh. we'll be like, it's a different experience, so let's try. Right. And we are so glad that we did. It was. It's good. Yeah. What do you give it out of five, Q? I guess I have to give it mm, a five. Oh. 
Oh, no. Q gave it a five. Wow, that says a lot. I yes, Okay, I'm going with you. I'm, I'm going to give it a five, too. The overall atmosphere, the food that was served, from the appetizers, from the smoked scotch eggs to the avocado crab wrap, even though you know, ooh, I couldn't do that avocado. To so that beef sh short rib. The beef short rib that was the mm. main, oh my God, that was so tender. It was so good. And then they had the desserts, the spear with the mousse and the creme brulee ice cream in it. And then we got the apple that had the mousse and the lemon curd on a bed of pop rocks. I mean... Everything was so good. You forgot good. the caramel popcorn that came Oh, yeah, that, that was good, too. That came with the spear. Beer, right. And also, we had, as far for the appetizers as well, we had that shrimp that had that scotch bonnet, hot, you know, mousse at the bottom of it that was so good. Oh, and the liquid lock. Oh, you had too much. Oh, I'm telling you, everything was so good. So, we would have to say. It definitely had your taste buds everywhere. And then, and then I extra a meal, each one. Kind of cleared your palate for the next one. Yeah. So our waiter was good with that. Right. He was really, um, he was really, really good. What was his name? Na I Nail. I don't, yes, that's Nail. his name. Nail. 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 Props to you. He was very good at explaining every course Thing. that we yes. got. He was really, really exceptional and very well knowledgeable. Here on Wonder of the Seas, if you come on here, Make sure you book that one that Wonderland because we were kind of like uh, at the price, but right. we would say that it was worth it. It was so worth it. We really enjoyed it. That was one of my best experiences as a uh, dining act. Additional dining experience it was one of the best ones. Oh wow, that says a lot for Q. Because I mean, I was on pins and needles. I didn't think, or I didn't think that he may enjoy it as much as he has. So it, it's really good to know that he really enjoyed it because I did too. So um, I guess this is what day five. We're wrapping it up here at you know on Royal Caribbean's Wonder the Seas, and we're about to settle in and. We might be just getting into that bed, y'all. I mean, just to be, to be really <laughs> honest. But we just want to thank you again for tuning in, for subscribing. If you haven't, if you have, thank you. But if you haven't, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I had one thing to say. What? Man, had me to be turning that clock back to flea. flea. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to end the evening on that, y'all. We'll check you out tomorrow. Tomorrow's a cruise day for us. So we're just going to you know, peruse around the ship and see what we can get into and hope you enjoy us for that. Make sure you hit those notifications buttons so you know when we're posting the next one. Right. So with that, we are Q&S Vlogs and we are out for the evening. Peace!